Line, partners. Seventy-four, forty years ago, it was the super outbreak. It, at the time, it was the biggest outbreak of tornadoes in our country's history. 148 touched down in 13 different states um, across all of the Ohio River Valley. Um, you may remember, and this kind of put Xenia, Ohio, on the map around Louisville. Uh, 5,000 people were injured. 300 people died in this. Um, tornado outbreak 40 years ago today. It now is the second worst in history. Of course, the 2011 outbreak, which happened a couple years ago. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Birmingham were hit. That was the worst so far to date. So the one 40 years ago is now the second worst. Hey, you know, on this anniversary of the super outbreak, we've got dangerous thunderstorms not far away. We'll track those in just a minute. For us, we've got some very strong wind for tomorrow. 50 mile an hour wind gusts. This is no joke. If you thought it was windy out there today, it's going to get even windier for tomorrow. And as we look now at threat track, you can see here that we've got at least a chance of some showers and thunderstorms to our south. A few of these could get severe. I'd say these are south of I-80. We're going to put it in a minimal risk for just some general thunderstorms as we take you through the evening. Here's a look at exact track right now. We have nothing going on just yet. I will be watching these and I'll get into the, that in just a minute. But first, let's take a look. Not going on here in our 13 counties in northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin, but you can see some rain showers advancing to the south. Uh, a lot of you did have rain today, especially south of Rockford. That has pushed off to the east. I'll be watching this area, and you can see that we've already got a couple of storms or showers trying to develop here in eastern Iowa. This is what gets us wet tonight. I do believe most of this should bypass us to the south and work in towards Chicago. Here's the threat for severe weather. It's going to be well down to the south where the atmosphere is more prime, juicy, and warm. And then by tomorrow, this will all work off toward the east. Let's take a look at what we've got going on right now with 38 degrees. Yeah, if we can't get to severe thunderstorms, it would, it would take you know probably a one in a thousand chance of getting a thunderstorm when temperatures are this cold. Right now it's 38 degrees. Let's switch sources and go downtown Rockford. 29 is what it feels like, a northeast wind at 15. Let's track the wind and rain. Hey, the reason why we're so cold, we've got a northeast wind coming off the lake. It is really, really cold here in northern Illinois, but it is summer-like way down to the south, 75 this afternoon, just over the bridge in Paducah, Kentucky. And look at the dew points now. We've got dew points in in the 60s and 70s, that is July level dew points, and that's the reason why the storms are going to be most fierce in central and southern Illinois. A lot of these will wind down as they work to the northeast. However, we're picking up a couple of blips here in eastern Iowa. We'll have to see if that fills in. What is interesting on future track is as we head in toward 10 o'clock, notice we got some rain to the north that big complex to the south. Watch Rockford. It doesn't give us anything. I don't know if there's a force field around us or what, um, but most of this, at least the worst of it, is going to be down to the south and the east. That's okay in my book. However, we're going to have quite a bit of wind as this low pressure moves away. So cloudy and windy tonight, rain likely, and especially southeast of Rockford. Don't be surprised if you hear a rumble of thunder, but the severe weather will stay uh, well to our south. Tomorrow, temperatures will slide into the 30s into the afternoon. Could be a wind Wind whipped rain or snow shower, and you'll see that on the window pane for Friday. But notice the temperatures come back Saturday, sunshine 46, up to 53 on Sunday. More rain comes in on Monday, but that's a 40% chance right there. And then skies clear out, and look what happens to the temperatures 53 Tuesday, 59 Wednesday, and 66 nice. on Thursday. A week from today will be a whole lot different than the 38 come tomorrow. Now, will that be the highest of the year to this point? Yeah, we haven't gotten, uh, you know, I think a 70 is in the cards Ooh. as we head in toward day eight. So looking forward to we'll it. keep looking. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. This week's earthquake in Chile is sending higher than normal waves.